I'm Lee Iridium. Hope you're doing all right today. It's reaction time. I've got loads of reactions. There's going to be a load of them coming up in the next few days just to let you know. So first one I'm going to do um, is from Baron Carter. And man, thanks to Jono. Uh, Jono Bacon. What a name. We just can't get over that name. It's my favorite name in metal. Uh, <laughs> he sent me this T-shirt for the band. Oh man, what a T-shirt so happy um about it it's just brilliant it's absolutely fantastic this is the new ep the artwork of the new ep um in a concrete room so i reacted to a, a song of theirs the other day and straight away i messaged the band and said check it out and man so grateful we had a good chat me and john o'bacon on the messaging and he sent me this t-shirt so grateful thanks john for that um and as a thank you I'm going to listen to another track because I haven't got a t had a chance to listen to the EPs yet. There's been two EPs out from the band so far. Um, this song off the new EP as well is called Act 2 Resilience. I haven't heard Act 1 either, obviously. Um, but this is 8 minutes and 25 seconds long. Sounds like a real epic track. Uh, so you've got guitars and basses, Jono, Jono Bacon. You've got vocals, Ralph Sheepers, of course, from Primal Fear. Um, drums is Morton Gage Sorensen, and this was mixed and mastered by Jacob Hansen. So, without further ado, let's listen to this hopefully epic metal track. I'm sure it will be. Um, this is Baron Carter, Act Two Resilience. Here we go. like a film score. Sounds brilliant. Many people think that the best way to escape war is to dwell upon its horrors and to imprint them vividly upon the minds of the younger generation. They flaunt the grisly photographs before their eyes. They fill their ears with tales of calm. They dilate upon the ineptitude of generals and admirals. They denounce the crime and insensate folly of human strife.
I'm going to stop it there because we're about halfway through. And man, how emotional is that? I mean, the build up, the cinematic um, part at the beginning was just brilliant. Like, just like a film score, absolutely fantastic. And I love the way because sometimes it can feel like a latch on, like to the beginning or an end, when you get that sort of cinematic sort of feel. Sometimes it just feels like something that's put there at the beginning or the end. I love the way it just built and built and built and then went into the acoustic part perfectly, blended in rather than just a stuck on bit. Because you can have that, you know, where it doesn't feel part of the song. It's just like a little bit at the beginning. Then it goes into the metal or whatever. And it's just like, it doesn't really fit. Fits absolutely perfectly. It just set the tone for the obviously war themed lyrics. Just an epic song, you know, with all the symphonic parts going on. You can sort of feel it building. I don't know if it's going to get really, really heavy, but I love it as it is anyway. It's just epic as fuck, isn't it? It's just brilliant. I love it. What a, what a contrast as well to the other song um, that I reacted to the other day, which was just full on, sort of medium paced, fucking chuggy metal. So you're going to get, obviously, I'm going to check these EPs out straight away. Both of them. I've got them both. I'm just waiting to hear them. I just wanted to do this reaction first, but really looking forward to it. I love she Sheepa's voice as well in this. I mean, he's got a great tone to his voice, especially when he sings, like he's singing in that lower register. Um, almost talking, but sort of singing. Half talking, half singing. I love it. Um, he does sound a bit different in this band, though. I mean, I, I haven't... even In the other song, he didn't really go for the heights that he can do. Um, so I didn't get to hear that high pitch sort of scream. Um, but perhaps he will do it later on in this song. I don't know. But I love it so far. So emotional. And the lyrics are making it that way as well. It's just a brilliant song. It's just an epic. Epic as fuck. <laughs> All right, here we go for the rest of this. Light, effortlessly cold. I can feel emotion in my soul. Here we go. Roy, 
epic song absolutely superb i love that part of the end um pride it says in the lyrics i've got the lyrics here pride honor and victory a patriotic right to our names endless stories through history the power flag and honor will fade we failed their names and obviously you heard at the end they was um just names coming out uh, which was just a real brilliant ending to a brilliant song i love the way it didn't stick to any you know there, there was you didn't know where it was going to go that song there was no real proper chorus or anything like that it, it was just I wouldn't call it progressive if you you could call it sort of progressive because you didn't know what was going to happen it was original it was you know it was just you didn't know which way it was going to turn it weren't progressive in the way of odd time signatures or anything like that but I just love the twists and turns in it, the cinematic part, like I said. I loved it when it got to that heavier part, but I, I like it because it stayed on that sort of slower sort of pace. I didn't know whether it was going to go into a real sort of fast bit, but I'm sort of glad it didn't. I, I, I can't remember. I don't think there was a real guitar solo or such or anything like that, but I just think it was the perfect epic song. It was brilliant. Lyrics are just outstanding. The emotion in the song was outstanding. Eight minutes and 25 seconds of brilliance. Absolutely loved it. I can't wait to hear the rest of this. Baron Carr, Act 2, Resilience. And I think they're working on um, a third EP. That's the way they're going to do, I think, their releases. So they've released two this year. So that's cool, isn't it? So they, they're releasing EPs rather than albums. It sort of makes sense in the way the world is now with the music, with the music industry and streaming and all that. It does sort of make sense. I get that. Baron Carter, Act 2, Resilience. What a song. Um, let me know if you're going to check out the two EPs. And one is probably going to be on its way, I reckon, next year by the looks of it. Thank you very much for listening. Let me know what you think of the song in the comments below. I'll see you next time.